Hello, my name is Tiffany Perkins and I'm from Hindman Elementary in Knott County and I'm a 6th through 8th grade collaborative teacher. And I decided to build on another project I had with Rocket Books, knowing that my students were having a little bit of an issue with confidence. Oftentimes, I know they, ha they knew a topic. We would have a lesson and they would know everything about it. We would have conversations and they would know their stuff. But then when it came time to answer questions in class, their hands never raise. They never are willing to tell anybody other than me that they know what they know. They have talents that they never participate in projects to let anybody know their talents. And I wanted them to grow their confidence so that they can do that. And so I decided to, to combine my other project and this project together. Um, my other project is where I got them ro rocket books to help them with the organization. And I would be training them on how to use the rocket books. And once they knew how to use the, pro the rocket books very well and had mastered their use, then my plan was for them to train younger students. And so, so we're still. So that was my problem of practice is to grow their confidence. Um, obviously confidence is going to affect them in the long run. Participating in more is going to continue to grow their confidence. It's going to give them opportunities like today for instance that they would not get otherwise. So my plan of attack was to train them and make sure they were mastered. I wanted to make sure that they had the confidence in the topic they were going to be training on before I even set them foot with anything. So we made sure that they knew the ins and outs of using these notebooks before we even began. Once they were mastered, then I collaborated with some of our other collaborative teachers in the lower grades and we compared them with students so that they could one-on-one -on -one and that where they're not embarrassed by others watching them, sit down with those students and talk to them and train them the way that I trained them. Um, once that happened, then we, I communicated with the other collaborative teachers to make sure that everything was going smoothly. And if there was any questions, I could send one of my students over to answer those questions because they were now masters. Rules are necessary with this, of course. Um, I don't know why that's turned out like that, but um, these notebooks are not allowed to leave my classroom and the younger notebooks are not allowed to get, leave their classroom. Um, these students were able to give the younger students a rocket book to use in their classrooms too, but they're not allowed to leave the collaborative teacher there either. Um, the rocket book contains all their work. They can uh, submit those online and so their teachers can see them anytime. They're not to share them with any other students, same as my students can't share their rocket books with anybody else, the younger students can't either, and that was part of the training that my kids told the other students. Um, again, with the younger students, my students told them, you can't share this with anybody else, and you can't, um, if any of that happens, then there's consequences. And only a friction pin can be used with the rocket books. Some of the problems that I encountered was, even though they had mastered it, they didn't know exactly what to say. And they would stress out over what do they say. So in the future, we will have a script out for them to follow in case they get stuck. I don't want them to depend on that, on that script, but that's something I'll have in place in case they need it in the future. I know it worked because I have some students that were willing to come today. I have students that are participating more in class. They're raising their hand more in class. Um, as you can see in the beginning of the year, I had stu two students mostly that actually participated in things and a couple of random others. But as the year progressed, look how many times they're raising their hand and answering a question or they're participating in some kind of activity. And even further in the year, it gets better. Um, I hope that with students, my students who are struggling with confidence, that they will continue to grow their confidence. That they will continue not only to get more involved in more things, but they can encourage others to get involved in more things. Here's some pictures of their youth. 
So my next step, they can start thinking about what they want to what they want to do when they get older because they've got the confidence to start dreaming. They've got the confidence to think that they can do things. Um, I want them to make plans, not just make the dream, but make the plan for what they want to do. And I want them to help others by sharing not just their skill of rocket book use, but any skill they have, I want them to feel confident to share that. And I expect that their grades will improve, and it has. Their grades have come up drastically. Um, I'm going to let them tell you a little bit about their experience with training others. I have gained more confidence because I trained a third grader. I am more confident because I trained a third grader. I have more confidence because I trained a sixth grader. I have more confidence because I trained fifth grade. I have more confidence because I trained a fourth grader. So like I said, they're here today. They're speaking in front of a crowd of, of adults. And I, I feel like what we're doing is working. So I hope it continues to grow. Any questions?